Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I'm going to do a monthly melting basket, or in my case, monthly melting bin. <laughs> um, so I asked you guys in my last video if you wanted to see, um, like along with my monthly or bi-weekly empties videos, if you wanted to see also what I hope to warm for that month. So I figured, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to do that. So I have gone through my stash and I've, um, picked out some bars that I, I either need to just clear out because they're so old or ones that I just really want to warm. So that's what I did along with, I still have my partial bars here for my last video because I, I need to get through them. Um, I've got Caroline sitting here beside me on the couch and she's actually playing with my little, she's playing with the little testers because <laughs> she's super grumpy and she wasn't letting me film the video and she likes the Scentsy testers so she's sitting here playing with them. Here, I'll show you guys. Here, let me yeah, say hi. <laughs> So she's playing with her little testers and I'm in my bath, my bathrobe today because the school is closed today. Um, so my son didn't have to go to school because they're doing like the teachers are doing a union meeting or something. So we had the day off. So we got to sleep in. It's, we got like a fresh blanket of snow last night. Um, so it's like winter all over again and we are inside where it is warm and cozy and we're lounging around today so i'm gonna jump right in um i'm just gonna quickly whip through my um partial bars that i want to get through i've got the fearless by nature i still have to work on that i've got the um happy birthday here but it's just in here because it's a partial bar and I like to keep my partial bars separate from my what my full bars because I'm weird like that but I I doubt very much I'm gonna finish this whole bar this month because I only like to warm this when I'm having like anxiety or I'm I'm really craving like some birthday cake um so this is like my special occasion <laughs> kind of bar so there's that um, as much as it's going to break my heart, I have three cubes of Cozy Cabin, which I will probably not have an issue finishing up this month. Uh, Twilight. Pink Cotton, which is now available in the laundry stuff. So if you're a fan of that scent, give it a try in the laundry line. Uh, newborn Nursery. Pistachio ice cream. Finish that up. Clothesline. I doubt I'm going to finish this entire, like the five cubes that I have in here, because this scent is like insanely powerful. And one cube, if I ever warm it in my open concept, I have four warmers up here. I only put one cube in one warmer, and that's enough. Um, it's wickedly powerful. And then I have a Tahitian Black Orchid. I just want to get this out of here. And I do have another bar of it, I believe, because it's it's awesome on, on cold. It smells so pretty and fruity and floral, but it's awful for performance. So that's definitely not a repurchase. Mythic Journey. Finish that up. French Lavender. Uh, Mickey Mouse and Friends. I should have no problem finishing this. My boyfriend likes it for number one. Um, and it's 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 really like awful for performance. It lasts maybe eight hours and then it's gone. I find that it doesn't, the longevity on that is not great. Um, and Rustic Lodge. I, I doubt I'm going to finish this whole bar too because it is super strong like it's awesome I love it it's my favorite of the bring back my bars from January but it's so powerful like one cube is enough and so it's gonna take me a while to go through that but even if I chip away at it at least I'm making progress 
Um, and then there were some bars in here that I wanted to go through that I shared in my last video. I think there was only three full bars. Yes. So a brown sugar praline. I want to go through that because I've just, I've had it since Christmas and need to go through that. A strawberry swirl is an old bar. So I want to clear that out. I talked about it in my last video. It's like strawberry milkshake. It's very creamy and has like frothy milk in it, but it's an authentic strawberry milkshake to me. Uh, frosted ginger cookie. It smells amazing on cold. So I'm really interested to see what it's going to do when it's warm. So those are bars that I had talked about in yesterday's video. Now these are all bars that I've added along with a brick that I want to get through. So I have the caramel sugar cookie brick here. I have, as you can see, pretty much the whole thing left. Um, my boyfriend really likes this. I, I like it. It's not my favorite of the bricks of the new releases or not the new releases of the, the new scents that came out in the holiday bricks. Um, it's just not what I was expecting. The caramel is, I was hoping for something similar to caramel sugar cone because that's like my favorite caramel scent. Um, and it's not that it's definitely bakery it's really buttery though and it's just not for me but he really likes it so i'll definitely get some use out of that now in zen uh this was a new release from last spring catalog um i think i think it was a new release and it's now available in the body products along with prickly pear and agave those are two new scents that came to the body line now, I, I put this in my bin because uh, somebody commented on one of my videos saying that they were really excited that this was re released in the body stuff, but they were kind of hesitant about trying it because the bar was so light on performance, and that was a little surprising to me. I haven't warmed this before, so I can't comment on that, but from cold, you would think it would be like a strong scent because it has that manly cologne-ness to it. It's got like grapefruit in it, which gives it that kind of fresh, zesty cologne scent. Um, now I like this grapefruit better than grapefruit grenadine. The grapefruit grenadine was bordering on too bitter for my taste. This is very sweet and tart and I just, I really like it. So we'll see how that does when it's warming. So I want to get through that. Uh, strawberry rose. I threw another bar of this in my bin because, um, I think I messed up when I warmed it the first time I, I put in butter pecan and it totally overpowered this. I had this going upstairs and the butter pecan was like way too strong and totally overpowered this. So I can't really give a good opinion on what it's actually supposed to smell like when it's warming, but I've heard really good things. So we will do that and we'll see how it does. Um, now I have a black raspberry vanilla that I want to get through because I have a brick of this and I want to start on my brick, but I'm weird. And I, I like to do the, the little mini bars first before going to the brick. So even though I think I have started warming the brick. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to clear this out. This is a nice scent. It's, it, um, it's just a classic scent. And I find that um, I mentioned in my last video that I was doing interviews for a nanny for my kids because I'm going to be going back to work in a couple months. And I find that this scent, sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream, simply vanilla, all those simple, um, scents are good for if you have company over, um, you don't want to offend anybody with something overpowering or something too complex. These are just nice, simple fragrances that I find work really well for people, you know, if you have company over. So, or if you're trying to sell your house or you're having an, having a party or whatever the situation is, they're, they're good 
sense for that type of thing. Uh, perfect oatmeal. Um, my boyfriend really likes this. And I, this was available last month. And I, I like it on cold. It has like a weird something that I'm not sure about. So I'm, I threw it in here because I want to see what it does when it's warmed. So we have that. I have two bars of vanilla bean buttercream that I want to go through, which should be no problem at all because I love this. And I put these in my bin because I have two bricks of it. Um, so I got to clear out the bars. So that is vanilla bean buttercream. That's going to be probably the easiest thing ever for me to go through those because I love that scent. I'm totally team vanilla bean buttercream over sugar cookie. I love them both, but vanilla bean buttercream is my jam. Um, orange dreamsicle. I don't like this at all. And that's why I want to get rid of it. But my boyfriend likes it. It's orange popsicle, vanilla ice cream. I mean, it's authentic to a creamsicle. It's just not for me. So he will enjoy that downstairs. Jelly, Jumpin' Jelly Bean from the O Canada collection. I have not warmed this yet. I think out of that, out of that collection, there was only, there was 10 cents, I believe, that were released with that. And I think I've only warmed three of them. So I have quite a bit of the collection left that I got to go through. This is awesome. This is like sweet tart candies. I love it. I love it. I love it. It kind of takes on a candy pear sort of feel to it. Um, it not not really similar to Juicy Pear that was in the Jelly Belly collection. I find that that is more jelly bean smelling and this is more sweet tart candies. So, oh, it's so good. So I'm excited to warm that. Farmer's Market. I don't know if this is available now. I want to say yes. I think, I think so. I don't have a, do I have a catalog here that I can quickly check? Hang on one second, guys. I apologize. Um, I don't have a catalog right here in front of me. So I can't say for sure if it's available. Um, but it was available. It was new to the catalog last spring and summer. So I want to say yes, it's available now. But either way, it's like a nice fresh green scent. I'm pretty sure there's like carrot in here. You really can smell the carrot. Um, it's nice. I, I got this last year and I haven't warmed it yet. So I want to clear that out. It's just nice and refreshing. Um, love and happiness. I'm kind of sad that I, I want to get rid of this bar. I have like five more bars of it and they've just been sitting there. I haven't been enjoying them because I haven't been warming them. And so I, I told myself, I am going to warm a bar of that this month. This is so nice. It's beautiful. This is, I'm pretty sure there's walnut in here, but to me, it's not like a nuttiness like you can get from butter pecan or hazelnut frosting. I find that the nuttiness or the walnut um, gives it a creamy, smooth quality rather than a nut quality. It's like a feminine, beautiful perfume, but it's very smooth. Oh, it's so good. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to try and get over my anxiety of warming stuff that you can't get anymore because Scentsy comes out with so much wax that I have no excuse because there's always something new to warm. So skinny dip in. I want to go through this so that I can start digging into my brick. This is awesome. It's like melons and tropical fruitiness and it kind of smells a little bit like a nice fancy suntan lotion. It's really good. So there's that. Banana Rama. I haven't I have a bunch of this that I bought from Bring Back My Bar last month. What are you doing? And I haven't warmed any of it. 
So I threw a bar in and I'm going to get through it. It's like candy banana bubble gum. Give me passion flower. I threw this in my bin because I picked this up when it was available in the bring back my bar of the summer last year and I love it on cold. It's awesome. It's like mouth watering tropical passion fruit juicy fruity goodness but I had an issue where when it got to the end of warming and it was about time to change the wax it took on a cat pee ammonia type smell and that's not pleasant um that's just the experience that I had I do I have had comments from a couple other people saying their experience was the same so I that's why I haven't been warming it because I, I don't want to smell cat pee but I want to see if I get the same experience again. I'm going to try a different room with this one. And if it does happen again, I'm going to mix it with vanilla bean buttercream and hopefully it can totally cut out that ammonia smell and I'll be able to enjoy it that way. So that's give me passion flower. And then amber hollow. I've heard some really bad things about this one. Um it's different. It's definitely a different scent. It, it's very ambery. It's very, very rustic. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely weird. It's a weird smell. Um, <laughs> I've had this bar for like, since it was the scent of the month in 2018, I believe. And it's just been sitting there. So I want to get rid of it, get it out of here. <laughs> I'm going to warm it downstairs in the man cave and hope he doesn't say anything about it. So we'll see what happens with that. And then I have two Disney bars that I want to go through. And I picked these two specifically because they smell almost the same to me. So if you, if you didn't get a chance to try the Woody Reach for the Sky, it smells almost similar very very close to the lion king circle of life so i wanted to see the comparison when they're warming but really i just don't like either of them and i want to get them out of here so um i definitely can say i like lion king better than woody um but they they both smell um yeah they're almost the same and i haven't been storing i didn't store them in the same area. I've had a couple people tell me that if you um, store your bars in close proximity to each other, they can kind of take on the smell of other things. And these two were nowhere near each other. So I even smelled the testers and I get the same thing from the testers. They smell like I took the tester of, of this and compared it to this and they're the same. Um, I don't have a tester for the, the woody one. Um, but it's, it's just like a manly rustic, um, ambery type scent. Um, the woody one is a little bit more. <laughs> Did you fall over? <laughs> The woody one is definitely more like cowboy like, but they almost smell the same to me. This one is a little bit sweeter than this one. So, I mean, we'll see what they, how they perform. Um, yeah. So this is not a repurchase and neither is this, <laughs> even though I haven't warmed them yet. We'll see, I will let you you guys know in my empties video. Now I have set a rule for myself. So because I'm, I'm doing this melting bin, my rule is that I am only allowed to choose wax to warm from this bin. Otherwise I'm not gonna get through any of it. So I have taken this bin, I have put it right where I can easily get to it and I have no excuses not to warm these bars. So that's what I'm doing. That's my plan. 
I'm hoping I can stick to it. And I will, uh, my next video is probably going to be a haul video because Monday, today is Thursday. So in four days, the Alice in Wonderland collection is launch launching. I am placing my first spring and summer order along with the Alice bars. It's called We're All Mad Here. Definitely picking up at least two bars of that. And um, so I will have a haul video for you guys. And so we will, you guys can look forward to that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.